Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to learn how to prep dry goods. I've done a video, you can see it above, on how to freeze your meat in the freezer. There's a special way to do it so it doesn't go bad while well, it's in the freezer. You cannot just go use a Ziploc bag. It's not going to work if you want to save it for a year or two. So make sure you watch that video if you're serious about wanting to preserve. Stock up a little bit on some meat while it's still at a good price. I also have another video that I did about canning. I'm doing all of it. Um, just always have backup systems no matter what you do. It, it's a good idea. If your freezer goes out and you don't have backup power, you're going to lose everything in your freezer. And that's just a chance that you take. So put things into place so that you have a good plan. And I'm going to emphasize here, no matter what you put away, no matter what you're stocking. Today we're going to stock things in food storage buckets. That's what I use. Um, make sure you date everything and make sure when you go to eat your food you pull it out from the oldest date first and that's even when you're stocking your pantry um, I'll show you a little picture in a little minute I'll go inside and I'll show you I just put the date on the boxes and I'll show you what that looks like um, behind my boxes is where all my canned goods are my husband built this wonderful pantry it's like six feet by nine four or five shelves high but I can put everything that I need in there and in the back where I can't reach is where I put all my canned goods and then I put my current store-bought canned goods um, in, in these boxes and I'll show you that to you in just a moment. Okay the first thing I want to do is give you a little tour of the, the pantry real quick when I was telling you about putting dates on boxes. Like everything here in this box down there expires August 2025. I do use things out of it but it gives me an idea of you know what do I need to use first. There's more things up here 2022, 2023. Um, up here on the top is what I, I literally have the word now. That means, you know, use this stuff up first. Um, everything up here I know is my oldest stuff. So this year I want to make sure all that stuff gets used. Now I'm going to step up. All right, I want to show you up here. I moved some of the boxes, but do you see back there? I had mentioned how in behind my boxes, behind my cans is where I have my canned meat. So you see I have chicken there and I keep a list, the little papers over here, a little next to the tissues there. I literally have written on that list what is back there, what the dates are, they're in order from left to right. So when I go to use them, I'll take them from the left and then I'll cross it off on that paper. I'm gonna keep track and make sure I know what I have. Now this is the, this shelf is full. So I'm gonna to have to start going down into my basement and storing my meat down there, which is fine. But today we were going to talk about buckets, and these are the storage buckets that I have. They're five pound buckets, and I will put a link for you. But on top of the bucket, right here, I have a list of everything that's in the bucket, okay? And this was, um, it has rice, steel oats, rolled oats, lentil, black beans, and bouillon, chicken bouillon cubes are in there, and they all have rice. Um, every bucket has a 10 pound bag of rice. This bucket here is not finished. I have all that stuff in there, but I had a little bit of room left. So I'm gonna probably put more beans in there and some bouillon cubes. Start thinking about what is it that, start thinking about it. What is it that I need to put in there that my family's gonna eat and how can I give it more flavor? So one of the things that you wanna do is you wanna use bouillon, you wanna make sure you have spices and things like that. Just Keep researching and, and think to yourself, what am I storing and how am I going to cook with it? And start printing off recipes. You can try them now, see if your family likes them. If they do, then print it off, put it in a folder. Because if the power goes down, you're not going to have access to your phone. You're not going to have access to your uh, your computer and you're not going to be able to Google them. So make sure you print the, a few recipes just so you have them. One other thing. One other thing that I have um, in my storage bins is wheat berries, and these wheat berries can be ground. I have a hand grinder. I'll give you a link for that down below. I, it's very, uh, takes a lot of time to grind these, but again, if you don't have any electric, this is what you'll have to do. Um, I get my wheat berries from the Amish, a store that's local, and then I put these, I seal them in a bucket. And I already have one dated from um, 2013, I think. So this one, I'll have dated for 2022. So we'll have plenty to use. One other thing that I have stored is, um, this is fruit that's in here. And I did buy it from a company and I, it was pretty pricey. I don't, I only have the one bucket, but 
it, at least we have something where we can add fruit when we're running out. Another thing you might try to do is get something like Balance of Nature um, and use that and store it um, because they're capsules. I'm sure there's other companies that have it. I haven't done that yet, but I did get this one bucket. I may get another one. Another thing that I've done is I've stored cans of seeds so that you can always find a place. You know, you can always sell the seeds, barter with them, or you can actually um, grow the vegetables yourself. I have all heirloom seeds and I'll give you a link below where I got that uh, as well. All right, there you go. Um, go ahead, just do a little bit at a time. Don't get obsessed about it. Don't go broke over it. Just what I do is I wait till things are on sale and I go, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and store some of that. Um, my rice, like I showed you, I, I never pay full price for anything. The chicken has been cheap. Um, now it's starting to hit $4 a pound. So I might start looking and trying to learn how to store pork. I'm not sure how to do that, but that's my next goal so that we can have a little bit of variety. My mom's going like, are we gonna be eating lots of chicken? And I said, it looks like it. So go ahead, put those things in your bucket. Like I said, that you'll like, you, you have to do a little bit of research what you think you'll need. Um, and it'll be there for you. Hopefully you don't need it. I, I have a sister that said, I'm not storing all that stuff. That's a lot of money if you don't need it. But to me, it's like insurance. Um, we pay insurance that we never use for cars or for houses. I've never had a house where I had to turn insurance and never burnt down or anything has happened, but I pay over $1,000 a year. And that's what this is. It's just insurance in case you need it. If you never need it, that's great, isn't it, right? But if you do need it, that's great too, because you'll have it. All right, you have a blessed day. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, put them below. I'm happy to do my best to answer those.